going on, everybody? This is Sean with Strangeland Oddities. We are at the first annual Sonoy Summer Dead Bash. I'm here with W.F. Bell. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Nice. Um, now, as you guys know, this is not your typical convention. Um, it is more of an art show. Um, W.F. has played a savior on The Walking Dead. Um, now, I noticed when we were at the Walking Dead Cafe, a fan came up and pushed you and said, You pushed Daryl! Yeah, she was, uh, she was a little excited about that, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, I guess she didn't appreciate me laying hands on her, her favorite character, perhaps. I don't know. Either way, she didn't hurt me too bad. Nice. Now, as far as um, being in Season 8, are there any chances of, uh, without giving any type of spoilers, of returning? Uh, last known whereabouts is I was still alive, and uh, that's all I'm going to elaborate on. You know, at this point, just out of respect for the production, I'm, you know, I'm just going to keep it right there. Stay tuned. Tune in for uh, season nine come October. So, nice. Now you were also in Rob Zombie's 31, and we were having a brief discussion about your character and the actual behind the scenes of what you physically had to do. Would you mind elaborating on that? Yeah. Um, so he had a lot of us, uh, well, I won't say a lot, there were six of us, uh, was pretty, pretty big uh, imposing guys, dressed as these, uh, these characters called goons, and uh, essentially our job was to um, kidnap the competitors that were going to go through Murder World for 31. Sorry if there's any spoilers that for any of you that have not seen it, but uh, that's the, the long and short of it. We get to, you know, dispose of some people, kidnap some people. Um, but yeah, so I was, uh, I was tasked with kidnapping one of his main characters, and it... Uh, it got pretty physical. It was the very first production I'd ever worked on. So, watching westerns when I was a kid, I, uh, I always thought it was pantomime. I just, you know, thought they were kind of, you know, going through motions. Little did I know it was a, you know, a physical, you know, full-blown altercation. Uh, I found out quickly after the first take uh, when Kevin Jackson got hold of me and tried to tried to disarm me. So, uh, yeah, that was a that was an awakening. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it was a great. Uh, Great mentorship and learning experience, you know, for my very first set, and I appreciate the opportunity that he gave me to uh, to be a part of it. So nice. Now, um, besides from you know The Walking Dead and Thirty One, uh, do you have anything else in, that's in the works? Uh, we have some independent stuff that's coming up later on this year. We got uh, a couple of things in pre-production. I'm, I'm obviously not allowed to uh, give away titles or anything yet. Uh, there's one of them that's still being buttoned up. Uh, there's another one that we're shooting a trailer for starting Monday, I believe. Um, that's going to be a series that we're looking at getting picked up by one of the on-demand um, companies like Hulu or Netflix or something, whoever whoever expresses interest. But uh, I'm pretty excited uh, to work on that one. It's uh, you know one of my savior buddies actually wrote it, and we have a really solid director, cameraman, editor. You know, it's a pretty good team of people, so I'm I'm looking forward to see what, seeing what shakes out with the trailer. Nice. Now, being that this is the first annual uh, Sonoy Summer Dead Bash, how's it feel to be a part of this family? Oh, I love it. I, I tell you, I never thought in a million years I'd be a part of something like this. Um, I grew up as a horror fan when I was a kid. You know, the very first movie uh, I ever saw was The Exorcist. Uh, it wasn't because my parents let me watch it. It was because I was, you know, up way past my bedtime, peeking around from behind the couch. They didn't know I was there. So, And from that point on, I, I, I was hooked. You know, I just... Uh, being scared was cool, um, you know, and I just, I grew up, you know, reading Fangoria magazine and, uh, you know, just different magazines on how they made movies and special effects and things like that. So for this, uh, you know, to me to be, to, uh, to be a part of this is, uh, it's a dream, man. I mean, I, I really hope I get to do more, um, but so far I'm very grateful for the opportunities I've been given, you know, thus far. So I'm just going to keep working and I'll go where they hire me, so. Nice. Now, speaking of horror movies, now, when you were a kid or you know, what movie scared you the most? Well, I think the one I probably watched the most was Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. You know, just, I mean, Freddy Krueger was such a compelling character to me, but I think as far as pure fear factor, it's got to be Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just so animalistic the way he, you know, just he wields that chainsaw. He's my favorite slasher, but I love Jason, too, and I love Michael Myers, too. But, you know, I, I think probably Leatherface is, is, is where it's at for me. So, but, yeah, that, that, one, that one definitely scared me more than others, so. Nice. Now, um, do you have any uh, last words for your fans before we cut this interview? Uh, just thank you, you know, for following me on social media, on uh, my Facebook and Instagram. And, you know, I hope uh, I, I keep getting selected for stuff that you guys can follow and I can continue to share cool stories and, and all that. You know, like I said, it's a dream come true for me and I appreciate everyone's support. So thank you much and I appreciate your time uh, with the interview and everything, so.
Not a problem. Again, this is Sean. I'm with Strange on Oddies. We're at the first, first ever Sonoy Summer Dead Bash. Mm-hmm. 